The feature race on the card is the RSN Sandown Cup final, $175,000 to the winner, a race that was, of course, won on four separate occasions by the great one, Bold Trace. Um, there's a little stat floating around Patch, which you can tell us about in a moment, that um, Sir Truculent's vying for, that Bold Trace is engaged in. But Zach Manelli's our favourite, unsurprisingly. Stanley Road 330, zipping Rambo, we the people, the other ones in a single figure quote. Uh, Quickly have a look at the speed map here, where Zach Manelli's expected to lead Patch. Tyler Durden flew out last week. I guess the question's whether he'll be a little bit flatter second up, Tyler. It is. That's the question. And, and not only with him, but look, Kenny the Brute as well, who who stepped up to 700 metres for the first time last week. And people discuss the, the second up syndrome theory, whether they, they go worse second up over 700, but so often as well, we've seen him go better. So there's a, a question mark. Uh, that needs to be answered at, and no bigger stage to do it than in a stand-down cup final. Let's roll tape on Stanley Rhodes' performance last week. He had box number one in the replay we're watching. The other dog to pay particular interest in here is Zipping Rambo, who had the pink. Uh, he was going to land probably a couple of lengths in front of Stanley Rhodes, just got run up the track there at a pretty vital stage, and all of a sudden he finds Stanley in front of him, Patch. But uh, what I do like from a Zipping Rambo perspective is the way that he stuck it out late and certainly didn't lose any ground on Stan. Not much at all, and you would have thought with Stanley Road ahead of Zipping Rambo at the post the first time, Stanley Road would have given him a beating after that, but the margin didn't change, as you say. Rambo was massive, and I really feel he's a dark horse, and one that not a lot of people are speaking about leading into this final. But look, for Stanley Road, I know his caretaker trainer down here in Victoria, Paul Bartolo, is, is quite bullish of some improvement out of last week's run, and I do know he ventured to Sandown on Saturday too, where he had a, a walk onto the arm to make sure he was cherry ripe for this Thursday's final. So I think Stanley's got a, a bit of improvement in the tank. Tyler Durden was an impressive 41-74 first up winner over the 700. And both you and I, Patch, on last week's show um, professed that we had doubts about him stamina-wise. And, um, yeah, look, he, he completely proved us wrong, no doubt about it. Zach Manelli took a little bit of an injury into this race. Uh, it was the talk of the track, wasn't it, Patch? Late on Thursday, you know, everyone wanted to text you and say that Zach Manelli had had a little issue during the week. So do we expect him to be a bit better for it this week? I don't think he'd be in it unless he was right to go, Wiz. And look, people were quite critical of Zach Manelli in this run, mainly because he let down a fair few multis. But look, on further inspection, it, it wasn't a bad run. Tyler Durden set splits near enough to what Zach Manelli set the week before. So for Zach Manelli to find himself on the back foot behind Tyler Durden and still be able to hang on, and it just didn't have that strength to run him down. But would you expect that from a one like Zach Manelli, who isn't strong initially but can set those hot splits? So I think we're going to pay more credit to Tyler Durden. I think the, the run from Zach was better than what most people are making it out to be. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Maggie Mumu took out heat number three and she had box number, box number seven in the replay that we're watching. Uh, now, this was the race that we showed before with Blazing Cartier in the checks and Let's See in the in the six. And both those strong finishes took each other out of the race. Otherwise, we, I'd say it's very likely we have a different result. Um, Maggie Mumu, though, from box number seven, look, usual Maggie Mumu really patched, wasn't it? No early speed, got herself into a position where you thought she's got plenty to do, but she just unfurled late. She did, and look, Rob Britton has been opening saying that in the, the lead up to this series, she trialled on the track, didn't go that well, but that's never a concern for him being a stayer. And we've seen in the, the three runs that she's had at Sandown so far, she's pr improved in each, not by massive amounts, but she has chipped away and, and gotten better and, and run the faster time. And I think the way that she's handling herself in races is better. So she was massive in that run at last Thursday. And the Greyhound ran second to her as well. The truck, Sir Truculent, how good to see him into another big feature race final. And you mentioned the stat in the lead into this set of replays. He's not far away from picking up a, another win over 700 metres, which would make him the second most winningest Greyhound of all time for 700 metre runs, second behind the great bold trees. So a fair record there and, and a fair one to sit behind on that table. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be a pretty decent feather in the cap there for uh, for the truck and his connections if he can uh, achieve that. Now, Kenny the Brute was the other greyhound on the night that um, he certainly created a lot of interest in his race given his middle distance form patch, but um, I certainly had reservations about him getting a strong 700 as you did. But again, 41.76 on the night. 
from a different draw would he have won? Look, maybe not, but he still went out there and did the business. He beat We The People. Just quickly on her patch, I don't know whether it's maybe that she's a, a 650 to 600 meter, 680 metre sort of dog or whether sort of 41.8, 41.9's pulling her up. But um, she's running good, consistent races, but just not being able to get it done um, now for, what, two, three runs in a row where you thought she was probably close enough if she was good enough. Yeah, well, that's been two runs in a row. I think if we saw it once, we'd be sort of just a bit cautious about making a comment like that. But she had the chance to pick up Hank the Hustle the week before, who was uh, weakening, given he did all the all the hard work early on. And then again last Thursday with Kenny the Brute, who... Look, you never know. Again, he's first up over 700 metres, so was he hard to the line because he was first up? Is he going to be worse off next time around? But, look, I know we were quite doubtful of him getting a strong 700, but even speaking to, to Jackie Greeno in the lead-up to the race, she wasn't that confident either or, or was was quite unsure whether he'd get the, the trip with strength. So uh, good on him for getting the job done, but now from a, a wide draw, you'd say his only chance of winning would be to lead. Yeah, it does look that way. Um, look, I, I'm going to go with um, a grey that we haven't spoken at length about too much, and that's Sipping Rambo. I've gone 4 one, seven, and 6. I just think that his two runs over the 700 have been outstanding. He hasn't been able to lead on either of, a, on either of those occasions, and both times he sat behind one that's set some pretty decent fractions in front. First up, Zach Manelli really sort of broke their hearts in the middle stages and he got too far out of his ground, made ground late. And then again, he found himself behind Stanley Road in the run there last start and he certainly didn't shirk it late. He's just going to step a lot better very, very shortly in one of these 700s. And if it's Thursday night and he can find the bunny, given the way he's hitting the line from off the bunny patch, I just thought that $7.50, he was the right way to play. Uh, Zach Manelli, undoubtedly the one to beat. Tyler Durden, just so good, I couldn't ignore him. And Stanley Road for fourth. How'd you say it? I'm with Stanley Road. I just think with a fair amount of pace in the race, they're not all going to get a clean run, and he is one who won't be a part of that hustle and bustle earlier. So he'll be out the back, he'll be storming home, and I just think after that first race, because uh, he did try on the lead-up to, to his heat, but I think after that first race last week, he's going to be much better for it. Not concerned about the draw at all because he will drop back and, and run on, and I've got the similar confidence as the camp do that he should improve this time around. So I'm hoping he can swoop late and get the job done. Second, I went with Zach Manelli, And again, I just don't think his run was as bad as what people have let out to be. He was quite good behind one that went awesome in, in Tyler Durden. So he's a huge player from the red. Zipping Rambo for all the reasons that you stated. And we, the people, for fourth, who will charge home. But I'm with Stanley Road. And hopefully, uh, bang on for not only tonight, Mar uh, tonight, Wiz, I should say, on, on chasing winners, but also in the, the, the uh, tipping comp on the catching pen. It'd be nice to dust off the cobwebs there for you, Patch. That's for sure.